near a hole on the lakes, just up from Iona where Grand Arrows breaks. All weathered white clapboarding, worn cedar shakes on a hillside above Christmas Island. Where Al McNeil gathers wood from his lot, or a hot belly stove that he'll stoke till it's hot, and then boil some tea in a cast iron pot to serve to his friends from the island. Soon they arrive, some on foot, some in cars, bringing fiddles, tin whistles, and lots of guitars. A few dress up nice, but most come as they are, and all bring their sons and their daughters. They'll play kitchen music, it's simple and plain, traditional tunes played again and again, and familiar old songs about love, joy, and pain that can go out over the water. I'll sit round the table as Alan pours tea. It's been brewing for hours and as black as can be. A tonic so strong it can make the blind see. No side effects who follow after. So there's whiskey and rum for the less daring few. And pints of brown ale for the beer drinking crew. And the kids pay no heed to the things grown ups do. As long as there's music and laughter. And there's music and laughter and dancing and song And you can throw up your cares as if nothing is wrong As old Alan McNeil in his house by the pole Adds another tea bag to that pot on the stove McKinnon's, McNeil's by the score, McGilbrey's, McMaster's, McGinty's, and more. But your name makes no difference this side of the door. All are welcome as if they were kin. No need for occasions, though any will do. A wedding, a wake, any gathering of two. Or the day that you bottle whatever you brew, a Kaylee is sure to be in. The fiddlers start first playing just what they feel. A hornpipe, a scratch bay, a jig, or a reel. Then the dancers jump in with a quick toe to heel. As everyone gathers around them with the fiddles still playing, the singers will start singing sea shanties, folk songs, and ballads with heart. There are solos and harmonies, some in four part. The town is clearly astounding. And there's music and laughter and dancing and song And you can throw up your cares as if nothing is wrong As old Alan McNeil in his house by the pole Adds another tea bag to that farm on the store Soon the music has captured the spirits of all It blows from the kitchen, the parlor, and the halls It rolls off the ceiling, the floors, and the walls with everyone feeling quite gaily. Old Angus Dundee plays his flute with his nose, while Mary Persia wants her heart with her toes. It's just silly and raucous, and anything goes. A traditional Cape Breton Kaylee. They'll gather in spring when the moth's on the door, and in summer with more hazy evenings galore. In the fall, oh, they'll track muddy leaves on the floor, and in winter, despite the fear weather. Alan claims that his house may be flimsy and small, and for two hundred years may have threatened to fall. Though she's shaky in bed, she is still standing tall. It's the music that holds her together. It's that music and laughter and dancing and song, where you can throw up your cares as if nothing is wrong. As old Alan McNeil 
build in his house by the bowl, adds another tea bag to that pot on the stove. They say that it's been like this since time began in Cape Breton. The music's just part of the land. It serves as the glue that binds neighbor to clan. It's the heart and the soul of the highland. And in the legend they say that you'll carry these ways to wherever you travel for the length of your days. For whoever hears music and tarries or stays will make their way back to the island. Where there's music and laughter and dancing and song And you can throw all your cares as if nothing is wrong As old Alan Pickney in his house by the coal Adds another tea bag to that pot on the soul And there's music and laughter and dancing and song And you can throw all your cares as if nothing is wrong As old Alan Pickney in his house by the coal Adds another tea bag to that pot on the soul Alan gathers more wood from the trees in his grove. 